Hey everyone, this is Shakar. And this is Sina, and welcome back to The Hive, presented by Superb, where you can find your weekly buzz on campus. All right, so first off, guys, welcome. Um, yesterday was the last day to register to vote, so we just wanted to remind you to actually go out there and vote. It's very important that you do. The fate of the nation is in your hands. Right. Go out there. Just be the change you want to see, you know? Exactly. Sometimes a lot of the, a lot of the change just ends up not happening because people just end up not voting. Exactly. But so we can get um, straight away into events that we have this week by a superb. So first event is a screening of a thriller movie called Hereditary. Um, first off, we're gonna have a costume contest at the screening. So if you win the contest, you're gonna be getting a lot of awesome prizes. But even if you don't win, um, free candy for everyone that just shows up in a costume. So for me, that's worth it. And it's spooky season, too. So just make sure, you know, you got to get in the, the theme of, of uh, Halloween in general. So You have to start pre-gaming Halloween, and I think this is a great <laughs> way to pre-game the actual event. So, Shiki, what's, what's the actual uh, film about? So, um, basically, it's, pretty, it's a pretty intriguing plot line. Um, it's basically about the death of an individual, and basically her daughter and grandchildren start to discover haunted and horrific things around their family. Eventually, this leads them to essentially run away from the fate they inherited. Um, my friends have watched this movie, and they have all loved it. It got an 89% on Rotten Tomatoes. It's a super scary movie. So if you have any friends, you know, do you have any friends that are scared of horror movies in particular? Um, I don't have really a lot of friends that are scared of horror movies. I actually have a couple friends that are really into it. Um, shout out Quair. But that's literally <laughs> the only thing that sometimes they watch. Yeah, exactly. But, I don't know. I think it's weird because the the kind of like timeline and how that at least when I saw the trailer, it seemed like very like non normal. Like it seemed like mm. kind of like a very like eerie type of movie, less of like kind of like a scary type of movie. So if you're really into that kind of like more horror film and less like the pop out, I'm yeah. assuming yeah. this might be the movie for you. Exactly. So um, Hereditary is this Thursday, October 25th at 8 p.m. at Anahead Alumni Hall. Um, come through with your friends and it will be a great time. Great. So another event we have which is going to be this Friday from 7 to 10, same place, is uh, a pumpkin patch. So Superb is actually bringing a pumpkin patch to Anna Head, and there's going to be friendly competition. So we're going to be painting the pumpkins as well, and, you know, whoever gets the best one is going to also win a prize. So, you know, we incentivize everyone to come out and have a good time. I'm definitely going. Growing up in Europe, I, I don't even know what a pumpkin patch is. So that <laughs> <laughs> so what, what, do you, what, what are your expectations of it? Like, what do you think it's going to... Um, what I'm thinking is extremely wholesome, good vibes. Right. Um, so, and you've never been to a pumpkin no, patch before. I've no. never, no. That's, that's crazy. So like, <laughs> at least like growing up, I've been to a couple pumpkin patches. You know, I like to consider myself a pumpkin connoisseur, <laughs> <laughs> but it's just kind of like, you're, there's really just like a patch. It's like a bunch of barn stuff. And like, sometimes they have like animals there, like a little petting zoo. Really? Yeah. So like, you can like pet the animals, you can feed them food. There's like pumpkins you can like take home. Um, okay. It is exactly really wholesome, right? I know a lot of like trendy Instagram girls like to go there and take really oh absolutely they another like take, incentive like, to go gentlemen take you know different photos like oh yeah I'm a wholesome girl <laughs> I like I like pumpkins and I like to get trash on the weekends <laughs> <laughs> and I mean it's Friday from seven to ten p.m. so it is again the perfect pre right. pre gaming pre gaming at all yeah um, awesome. so that's this Friday okay and I had alumni hall okay so now we can discuss some events we have locally in the region so first event uh. So this is presented by Bear Magazine, actually. It's called The Bear Strip, a pop-up thrift event. Do you want to talk about that, Sina? Yeah, so I actually just found this event on Facebook. Um, honestly, I was kind of surprised at how, like, you know, like, like I, I guess, like, what the intention is behind this. Because, like, I don't know, last time last time I saw a pop-up event uh, based off, like, just, like, selling clothing and stuff, it was uh, on Sproul, and it happened to be, like, a game day pop-up event. And I shit you not, the line was from, like, the middle of Sproul yeah, down yeah. wrapping almost around, like, Bancroft on the side. And if this is anything like that, and I'm assuming so it might be because, you know, Berkeley Vintage or Simonems at this point. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> then it's, I guess it's going to be that much more hype. I also looked into the magazine, too, right? So I think we might have a couple friends superb that work in the magazine or have worked in the magazine. Yeah. And the... Magazine is also very on brand with what we what kind of stuff we'd like to do. It's essentially a magazine cover for all of Tumblr at the end wow. of the day. Um, it's very vintage. It's very indie. If you're you know into that kind of crowd and that kind of like artistic like viewpoints, then you know come on down, grab your vintage stuff, and 
throw it back to the 70s. Uh, yeah, that sounds awesome. So it's going to be from Wednesday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Krober Fountain. So it's just going to be right by Strata. Tomorrow, guys. So that's tomorrow, yeah. Um, I guess that's about it in terms of events. We can go in towards of anything uh, funny and interesting. Where th- Have you heard of anything funny and interesting? I recently? have, actually. So I'm an avid Twitter user. And uh, recently I came across this pretty cool video of... Um, Bunch of young ones, bunch of young kids having a good time at a party. Great, as they should be. You know, festivities are banging, vibes are good, everyone's having a good time. And then all of a sudden, Mo Bamba comes on <laughs> by, by Sheck West. <laughs> and and all of a f-ing sudden, the floor collapses. Oh my god. So you can literally see everyone fall through. And the best part is, so everyone falls through and they keep dancing. Nothing stops. They, actually they keep dancing, no dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I mean, for me, that's, th- that's how a party should be run, dude. That's like taking it to the max level. That's more than Project X. So that was... Literally breaks through the floor. Exactly. And I mean, a testament to Mobamba as well. Great song. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I guess more. <laughs> <laughs> so that that reminds me, of just like a lot of like crazy Halloween stories that yeah. I've had. Um, I know that when we were freshmen, you know, we're seniors now. That Halloween at Cal was uh, kind of a shit show, honestly. <laughs> um, <laughs> this was our first ever Halloween. Our first at ever Cal Halloween. <laughs> you know, all the frat Innocent parties were popping. Year olds. <laughs> exactly. We're walking around. You know, nothing crazy. And then you know, next thing you know, some guy gets a on a car and <laughs> starts swinging an axe. <laughs> and I mean, I'm sure you can fill in the rest. Like it was crazy because like literally everyone was on the streets. Um, everyone had to like evacuate the parties as well. There were cops everywhere. There were crazy people everywhere from the surrounding area as well. Um, 18 year old me, you know, I like to think I'm a pretty, you know, like brave guy, but I was pretty spooked out. I was like, Friends, let's go back to Clark Kerr. Let's like go hide in our shelters. But like this was pretty crazy stuff. Yeah, it was, it was honestly pretty wild. So for those of you that aren't, don't really know what we're talking about, um, there was essentially a huge riot when we were freshmen, and it was right on Channing Circle. People were getting on top of cars. People were breaking cars. People were just absolutely on the loose. And there's no chaining us back because it's Halloween, and it's college. I'm guessing. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So it was just a mix of stuff that resulted in this in this riot. Um, but speaking of Halloween. Um, I was so, so I'm, I come from Europe and over there, we don't really celebrate Halloween that much. I know that in the States, it's like super popular. So I did some research and it actually turns out that Halloween originates not from the States, but from the Celtic area, which is basically Ireland uh, and United Kingdom and Northern France. And basically it, it, it was supposed to celebrate November 1st and the day marked the end of summer and the harvest and the beginning of the dark cold winter. Um, Halloween itself, the festival was basically just meant to wave off evil spirits. And this was all the way back 2000 years ago. So Halloween is actually not American originated, which for me is quite, uh, quite a surprise. Right. So you thought that it was, I thought it a was completely American holiday, hundred percent America, capitalized and everything best with candy. country in the world. Let's <laughs> go. Uh, so yeah, but it, it has a global presence and thus all our international viewers will also be celebrating Halloween. So, mom, so get out there. <laughs> did, did did you celebrate Halloween when you were growing up, or how was that kind of vibe? It going? was it was kind of a weird vibe, dude. Cause like we try to celebrate it, but then there right. was like this weird dichotomy of like my friends and I who were international kids, and then like local Swiss kids. Yeah. And they wouldn't really be celebrating it, but we'd be celebrating it. So ultimately, okay. it turned out to be fun, but definitely not as crazy as it as it is like here. Basically. Just like party wise and things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you you've told me some of your high school stories about what you used to do. And yeah, it, they don't match up to what I did. Yeah, I hope I hope they don't. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be, that's a good thing. <laughs> it's a very good thing. Okay, well, um, I guess that's about it we have for today. A short, little bit of a shorter podcast, but you know, we're coming at you every week live. Exactly. So, um, thanks for listening, guys. Uh, this was Shakar. And this is Sina. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at ASVC Superb. Subscribe on YouTube and like us on Facebook at Superb Productions. Have a great day, guys. Thanks.